Monetary detachment is one of the hardest methods to actually put into practice because we have little control over everyone using the monetary system. Uh, we, we are largely at the mercy of other people using these currency systems that, that are in use around us, so it's difficult to detach from the, the monetary system. But to do it as much as possible, we should look at alternative forms of currency. Some people are uh, uh, trading in credits online, bartering online. There's uh, uh, different uh, forms of uh, cities that are, that are being used as hedges against the dollar and uh, ways to uh, uh, detach as much as possible from the fiat currency system that's really tanking from uh, the, uh, the uh, inflation that's going on right now. Local systems of barter are also a good way to, to uh, deal with monetary detachment. And taxation. We have to consciously make up our minds whether we actually want to take part in the tax system. It is a system that is known as a system of voluntary compliance. We, there really is not a law that makes it actual, actually you, uh, an average American citizen liable to pay income taxes. We are voluntarily complying with this by signing these statements and these papers and many uh, researchers have written about this and have waged this battle to, to show people that the income tax is in fact unconstitutional and it is a system of voluntary compliance that knowing what our tax dollars are being used for to create more forms of control and wage more wars of aggression. We need to really make up our minds as individuals whether we are going to continue to go along with these practices.